Hello beautiful collective and welcome back to the channel everybody. I can already hear you guys Frankie Frankie what's going on it's like the energy is so heavy I feel it I had to take a break that's why I'm late uploading my videos guys it hit me so freaking hard yesterday you cannot believe the energy you would because you're going through it but I'm feeling it trust me it's coming out in every reading that I do guys it doesn't matter what sign it is every single zodiac sign that I am reading for I'm picking up on this twin flame energy and I'm telling you it was taxing on me yesterday I had to take some time alone and clear my thoughts and re regenerate a bit because I'm telling you I'm just blown away by this energy in every zodiac sign guys I didn't even ask for these twin flame reads okay so for me it's like I'm not asking for it but I'm being given it and I'm like spirit why and spirits like hmm, because we chose you to do it so I'm doing it but uh, let me tell you I really really had to take time out yesterday and I'm still going through it so I know it's coming out again today in my reads I will get through it. Don't worry about me. I got a strong team, guys. So, not to worry, but I've got to tell you that it's strong energy. So, let's see what's going to happen here. Help me out here, Oracle of Visions. What's going on for the DM, the DF at this time? I've been saging, guys. Like, I've got my lighter here. <laughs> I'm saging before, after. Each read, it's like major. What's going on here with this situation with the DM? The DM, I'm spraying, I'm saging, I'm like, no, you will not affect my energy. And I hope you guys do too, because for some reason, this full moon is pulling this energy and it's so strong. What the heck? Spirit, what do you want to reveal about this connection, the twin flame journey here? Whoa, what's this? Hmm. Whoa, what is this? O M G. Hmm. They can't stop thinking about you, okay? You released them. You were the person who sent the message like, I gotta go. Your time has run out. Is this farewell? You said farewell to Cassius. Farewell, Cassius. But they can't stop thinking of you. That's what's going on. I knew darned well that that was happening, guys. Let's go with it, spirit. Let's pull on these energies and see what's going on. Whoa, whoa. Hmm. Doing that balancing act, are they? Hmm. Pandora's box. Yeah, that's what they did. They opened Pandora's box and it's coming out again today. <laughs> oh, it's everybody looking at everybody here, guys. So this person that you released, they can't stop. The focus is on you. Okay, you're the one that the... Ooh, time, time, time. Waiting game. They can't stop thinking of you and the more time that goes on the more and more they're thinking of you that's why it's increasing in the energy guys you can clearly see in this card if you can see that this person has got you on your mind you are the main focal point here you releasing them they cannot get you off their mind you're on their mind day and night Mm. 
Well, this karmic is sitting looking at themselves in the mirror. They're looking at you, everybody looking at everybody. You're just looking forward. This is you. Move it on. Releasing those ropes. Stepping out into a new direction. And you were tired of walking this tightrope with this person. So you set yourself free. Getting your balance back. And here is this... Uh, circle here of healing from this unconditional love while well, the karmic is sitting there admiring themselves in the mirror seeing only themselves they release Pandora's box yeah stepping into this yeah situation here okay so the focus is on you mm-hmm the karmic is too busy admiring themselves in the mirror here they released Pandora's box. That's what they did do. Stepping out, stepping into a new experience. Picture is painting itself. You're painting your own future here. That's what you're doing, Collective. Now, I know what those are. That's walking that fine line. This uh, 42 card. Oh boy, what a circus this has been, guys, I'm telling you. Ambition, goals, and inspiration. If you want to make your dreams come true, the first thing you have to do is wake the hell up, person. Wake up. You want to make your dreams come true, wake up. Somebody had to make their own dreams come true. Okay, it's like set sail in a new direction. Got tired of waiting. I'm not waiting no more. I need balance in my life here. What is this all about? <laughs> balance. If I'm losing balance in a pose, I stretch higher and God reaches down to steady me. It works every time. And it's not just yoga. Like this person, look, I need balance in my life. I'm tight, tired of walking this tight rope here. It's a fine line here that this person crossed here. And I need balance in my life, okay? And so it's like, I gotta, I'm gotta. i tired of waiting. I am not sitting in the harbor here waiting and waiting and waiting. I need balance. So you release the bow lines and you set course. Yes, I'm taking a risk, but I got to move forward. I need balance in my life. tranquility at peace if i i go to nature to be soothed and healed and have my sense to to put my senses back into order here i need to find my way back i have got to heal i've got to i've got to i need peace healing i have to get my senses okay a woman is draped with a purple cloth, reclines peacefully. A glowing divine light or spirit drives away the shadows of her troubles. She floats gently above the zen-like garden of the cherry blossoms. We have experienced a difficult period, but the trial is over. Challenging times in their multitude of forms, worries over financial or health issues, troubled relationships, or concern for others close to us have left us physically weak and spiritually tested now either by acceptance or conclusion our troubles are past now we need the comforting embrace of rest it's time to recuperate and regain our strength that's what i'm feeling mm -hmm. now what is this 43 card all about <laughs> Obsession, delusion, and self-interest. That's all the karmic is doing. I knew it was karmic energy. Sitting here uh, only obsessing and being delusional about 
this person, this karmic is all about self, all about themselves, self, 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 delusional, hello, what is this, the 14 card here, creativity and imagination, each day is a new canvas to paint on and make sure your picture is full of life and happiness, at the end of the day you don't look at it and wish you had painted something different, the picture paints itself. We paint the, on the canvas what it is. Make sure that what you're painting is something that makes you happy. Because Pandora's box has been opened here. That's what this is. Someone unleashed Pandora's box. There will be held bay here. What's going on? Three. Not something. Dreams, meditation, a spiritual escape. Some colors exist in dreams that are not present in the waking spectrum. So it's like our dreams provide us with an alternative reality, limitless and unfettered. We're free to soar with angels or sink into depths of demons. I told you that's what this person chose to do. All right, they painted their own picture. And Spirit is reminding this person, you know, make sure you're painting a picture of happiness. But they chose to open Pandora's box. Now the demons have been released. Now they could have chosen to fly with the angels, but they chose to release Pandora's box and fly with the demons. What can you say? So this is the portrait and the canvas they painted for themselves. They could have painted a nice um, finish, you know, on that canvas each day, but they chose, instead of flying with the angels, they chose the demons. Now Pandora's box has been opened. Whatever. That's their choice. And they chose... This is what gets me. They didn't even choose to, like, pick another person who cared about them. This karmic is self-focused, delusional, only sees themselves. So, what did they choose? What was accomplished? They chose somebody who only is obsessed with themselves. Creativity and imagination. Yeah, choose a new canvas each day to paint upon. That's what this is saying. Creativity can consume our thoughts as slow burning embers waiting for release. At other times, it's a spontaneous explosion of inspiration. Either way, it's a wondrous human characteristic. And these infinite ver varieties of individual expression, but alas, also an inf infinite variety of assessment of others. I think that this person has painted a picture. They were falling into a delusion. They thought that this karmic was going to make them happy. But they chose, they chose to paint their own picture, their own canvas. And they should have, like, what did the picture look like? What they were visualizing isn't what they got, <laughs> okay? What they were visualizing is what they got. This uh, person here, this karmic, has no interest in them other than their own self-needs, period. So that's the picture that they painted for themselves. It, it, there's nothing that, yeah. And now all they can do is sit here. The focus is all on the person who released them. Look at them. They cannot stop thinking about you. That is all they're focused on. How you release them. The person who released them. That's all they can think about. That's all their focus is. 
So like I said, somebody need to step away because they got tired of waiting. They set sail. They unleashed the bull lines. They hopped in the boat and they moved on. They got out of the safe harbor, got out of their safe comfort zone and said, I got to get out of here. I need balance in my life. Okay. I got to heal. I got to find myself again. I've lost myself in this situation. I need to refocus. I need to spend time in nature. I need to re reconnect with my spirit guides and my blessings. I got to get back in. That is a very beautiful, beautiful energy. If you can see it, you're directly connected to source. And that's where you need to be. Well, the focus of this karmic is simply on themselves. Self-serving. Couldn't care less about this individual. Well, they're the ones that pin painted their own picture. Now, by getting out of their little box, all they are dressed in red. So all that was on their mind is sexuality. Well, by doing so, they opened Pandora's box. Well, they don't like the picture that they painted. They were warned. They were told what's going on here for the divine masculine. What's going on here? So the karmic's busy looking at themselves. The divine feminine is busy healing and fulfilling, trying to get happy, paint a new picture. Got tired of waiting, then walking this tightrope, and the masculine is sitting here looking at you. Oh, the tangled web we weave. You have sewn your own future. You releasing this person. This is you, Divine Femme, releasing. And it's like you're saying, thanks for all the time alone. Thanks, because it gave me a time to reflect upon what I want. You release them. And now they're pissed that you released them because they care thinking about you all the time. That's all that is on their mind. Day and night is the divine feminine. Look at this person thinking. Who are they thinking of all the time? All the energy. Look, timing, timing, timing. It's time. They can't stop thinking about you around the clock. That's where it got them since you released them. Well, they've sewn their own web. Period. What's going on? Oh, Lord. Yeah. You're being innovative now. You are creating a beautiful picture for yourself. And it's like, okay, you have psychic abilities and future visions. And it's like you are focusing now on your future, on your future visions. It's like you needed to have balance here in your life. It's like this person put you off balance. Yeah, yes. And you had to release them. Yes, you had deep emotions. You know it's a past life influence here. Whatever. It's like setting boundaries. You had no choice, collective, but to stand up for yourself. Set boundaries. Because this person, yes, because this you're healing and this person put you in loss and lack. It's like kept you in isolation for too long, made you wait too long, made you question your self-worth, your own values, and it's like, I need to get my balance back. You keep moving forward, but you look back to see if this person is catching up to you, but, huh. yeah, you're taking your own power back over all this difficulty, and it's almost as like you reclaimed your power. 
Hmm. Yeah, the spirit is very clear that by opening Pandora's box, they they you know the, <laughs> just saying they planting something new. They open Pandora's box. This circle, something has come full circle. River of blessings coming in to you, divine femme. Hang on. I've got this nasty cold, guys, so I don't know how many videos I'm going to get out here, but I'll do my best. Okay, so that's why you're releasing these constraints. You're giving, getting a river of blessings. You know it's past life connection, but your phoenix rising from the ashes here. <clears throat> it's a great achievement. You're achieving great things. And now this Divine Masculine is looking directly at Divine Femme, I told you. Their focus is on you now. I told you. I can't make it up. Their focus is on you. Okay, they're looking in your direction. They're not even looking at the karmic. I knew that. Ah, yeah, and this karmic is sitting here trying to uh, calm everything down, keep everything calm and in control, and they have no control over this situation, man. Whatever. That's why I'm feeling so heavy in all these energies, because I think this full moon, okay, it's moon phases that are triggering this, I swear. I've never gotten so many reads about these divine connections as the last few days. It's in every zodiac sign that I am reading for. What's going on? The truth. The truth shall set ye free, and that is what Divine Femme did. Now this person can't stop thinking about you, I'm telling you. The truth shall set ye free. You freed yourself. You got out of the harbor. You got out of your comfort zone and freed yourself, and now they cannot stop thinking about you. They're in their emotions. They love Divine Femme. That's why they keep looking back. <laughs> Spirit's being funny right now. Just bear with me. I talked about the harbor, okay? Now Divine Masculine is looking at the harbor, waiting. You see here? Are they coming back? Are they coming back? Nope. Divine Femme loosed their ropes and moved on. Yep, and Karmic is sitting there all in selfishness. Now they want to return. They're heartbroken. They're in their emotions, their feels, they're deep in heartbreak because they didn't want you to walk away. They want to return. They're heartbroken. They are lost without Divine Femme. They are and you may ignore them. You may reject them now. But I can tell you their focus is on you. They miss your attention. They like your attention. It's come full circle, guys. Here is uh, fast forward movement here. What? Getting on their horse. Why? Because they're you had no choice but to move on. Okay? Because they were making you energetically unstable. They are unstable without you. Interesting. They miss your attention. 
They feel ignored and they long for your, they feel ignored now since you have moved on. They want your attention. They may communicate and come toward you. Things are on rocky ground with the karmic. The karmic is, they feel like a fool. <laughs> yes, because all they can think about is making this love offer to Divine Femme, the Empress. Yeah, well, before the that's King of Pentacles, King of Wands, all they could think about before was their passions and their money and their focus was on everything. Well, now they want happiness. Yep, they lived in the land of indecision there. That's why things came to an end. Now they feel it's unjust. There's no justice. Now they feel it's unjust. Why? <laughs> because energetically, they're still holding on to you and they were juggling to make you jealous. Why? Because they're feeling isolated and alone now. That's what. The karmic is, they're, they don't care. All right? They may have been left out in the cold by the karmic. And I think that they tried to leave you out in the cold to make you jealous. But energetically, they're feeling like it's not fair. I want to work on things. I miss Divine Femme's attention. Why? Because they're going through a tower with the karmic. And the karmic may leave them out in the cold and leave them broke. I don't know. They're missing. Yeah. And here's divine em divine uh, counterpart, the empress here. Highly intuitive. You're not getting nothing past this empress. They're healing. They know it's faded. They know it's destined. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. You're the one that makes them happy. They can't stop thinking about this connection. How do you stop thinking about a divine connection? It's pretty hard. It's really hard when it's faded and destined. How do you forget someone who was your happiness? <coughs> I just... Who did they think they were fooling? <clears throat> Maybe they didn't realize what they had. I don't know. Now they're spying on you and they want to work on things. Why? They did this out of retaliation. I'm telling you right now, they did it to make you jealous. They figured you was good. They'd breadcrumb you and you'd come running after them. It's right here, guys. Now they feel it's unfair because you didn't run after them. You're sitting here being single. You're sitting here thriving high. You're being blessed with abundance and they're in love with you. You decided to love you. And put the focus and in attention on yourself. And you're vibing high and you're thriving. And now they feel it's unfair. And they did this to retaliate against you. They're angry because they feel it's unfair. Because now you are confident. And they tried to make you jealous with this karmic. Okay? Yes. The other lover. Now they're getting the consequences of their choice. They're going through a tower. Realization, this person doesn't even care about me. As above, so below, you reap what you sow, period. Emperor being silent over there. Yeah, betraying the empress now feels betrayed. Their plan backfired, did it? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, news to you, Emperor, because the third party's playing around. Yes, they are. They're pushing away the third party. It's not going anywhere, they're saying. It's not going anywhere. Well, it's not going anywhere because they're thinking of you, Divine Femme, around the clock. 
this karmic only cared about themselves and their focus is in on them. The emperor is feeling stuck, pushing away this third party energy because it's not going anywhere. Why? Because they're committed elsewhere, even in, in their spirit. They're still with divine femme. Their earth angel, the one who is sovereign and dedicated, whatever. The one who is sitting here in their deep emotions now. Missed opportunity, scared they missed the opportunity. They're in fear. Did I miss out on my blessing? That is the question. Because they want to, they're still holding on to you. But they're in their karma for the choice that they made. I wants to come in reverse. What's this? Divine Femme no longer guarded. Divine Femme no longer wounded. Hmm. And they are stressed out with the karmic. That is the choice they made. So there you have it. Mm -hmm. Yep. You took your power back. What's come around is gone around. They're stressed out with the karmic. They're fighting. They're arguing. And they tried to put you in competition to make you jealous. Yes, they did. Because they're fighting and arguing about who. I don't know if they're fighting and arguing about getting committed or purchasing a home or they're fighting and arguing about you in this twin flame journey, whatever they want. They want money can't buy you love and that's all the karmic wants. I want a new home. They're fighting and arguing and conflicted because this karmic won't stop. I want, I want, I want, I want, I want. I want marriage. I want commitment. I want to buy a house. I want, it's for money. It's for financial gain. Period. And now this person is sitting back going, what the hell did it? Well, you unleash Pandora's box. That's what you get. Because all they want is an opportunity with their twin flame. They cannot stop thinking about the past person and be damned if they are not fighting about you. Because I know they are. Because this was the deception. That's karma. You choosing to end this. They're emotionally detached. Now they see the truth. Now they are being cold and detached to the karmic. Why? Because it was all a magician's trick. Okay? They tried to get you to chase after them. And now all they have manifested is a big burden. It backfired. Friends, family, sex, they can't stop thinking about Divine Femme. They're too attracted to you. The connection is too strong. It is all that is on their mind. Ten of Cups. Want to reach out to you as a friendly gesture, but what's on their mind is passion. They know you're the Ten of Cups. Hmm. They're feeling sad. They're feeling lonely. Well, whatever. They were too slow, so that's why you ended the cycle. It's like I'm not waiting forever. Okay? 
now they could be trapped with a child. I don't know. They're leaving. They're coming toward you. They're not going back. They're going toward you, Divine Femme. Because they cannot get you off their mind. They cannot stop thinking about you. You're all they think about. They're in a tsunami of emotions. A tidal wave has hit them. You're all they can think about. Period. So karmic's web that you have woven, you've only woven your own demise. This masculine has woven their own they tried to make you angry, to make you chase after them. They tried to make you jealous by entertaining this third party, figuring they can manipulate you somehow. They, they're, they, to be real with you, they're quite narcissistic thinking. And they figured wrong. <laughs> they kept looking to see if you was going to return and you didn't. You moved on. They kept looking over the harbor. Are they coming yet? Are they coming? Oh, is that my divine femme over there? No, hell no. Divine feminine set sail, loosed the ropes off the dock and got in the boat and got the hell out of the harbor. Got out of the comfort zone. Shook them up. They didn't know what to do. You're the focus. The person who walked away. There's your dear John letter. Figuratively, I cannot wait any longer for you, Divine Masculine. I'm leaving. Goodbye. Good night, Irene. Take it as it resonates. Spirit saying now they're saying what the f? See, so figured you'd be back crawling after their ass, and you didn't. And that's what you get playing games, opening Pandora's box. You opened up a, a shit storm, a mess that they did not even want themselves. They had no clue, because all they can do day and night is sit. And think about divine them. Their focus is on you. And no other. Comes around is gone around, guys. Or soon will be. This moon means something. This full moon. I'm telling you, this full moon is bringing something in. I'm liking it. I'm so happy you took your power back. I'm so grateful you took your power back. And I am so glad and blessed that you're getting your blessings from it. For doing it. Interesting that all they can think about is Divine Femme. The one who walked away. Sent them this message. I'm gone. I just got in my boat and I'm out in the harbor. I've let you go. But that person in the card that they're thinking about, that letter, that message they were sent, is saying it could be temporary or it could be forever. It'll be your choice. Take care, collective.